Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for June 21st. The scripture says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 verse 1. Those who are finally victorious will have seasons of terrible perplexity and trial in their religious life. But they must not cast away their confidence, for this is a part of their discipline in the school of Christ. And it is essential in order that all dross may be purged away. The servant of God must endure with fortitude the attacks of the enemy, his grievous taunts, and must overcome the obstacles which Satan will place in her way. Satan will seek to discourage the followers of Christ so that they may not pray or study the scriptures, and he will throw his hateful shadow athwart the path to hide Jesus from the view, to shut away the vision of Jesus' love and the glories of the heavenly inheritance. It is his delight to cause the children of God to go shrinkingly, tremblingly, and painfully along under continual doubt. He seeks to make the pathway as sorrowful as possible. But if you keep looking up, not down at your difficulties, you will not faint in the way. You will soon see Jesus reaching his hand to help you, and you will only have to give him your hand in simple confidence and let him lead you. Jesus is the light of the world, and you are to fashion your life after his. You will find help in Christ to form a strong, symmetrical, beautiful character. Satan cannot make of none effect the light shining forth from such a character. The Lord has a work for each of us to do. He does not provide that we shall be sustained by the influence of human praise and petting. He means that every soul shall stand in the strength of the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for the blessings and just for life, because unfortunately not everyone woke up this morning. And Father, I just want to ask that you will comfort those who are mourning, comfort those who have these heavy burdens on their minds and hearts, dear Lord. Help them to know that you are there, Help them to come to you, to come to your word, so that they can seek the strength and peace that you have to offer. Help them to see that the enemy is trying to discourage and distract and do all of these manner of evil things. We thank you for the light of Jesus Christ. We understand that the world loves darkness because light reveals the evil deeds that we do. We ask you to forgive us of any sin, known or unknown. We pray that you will have your Holy Spirit reveal any sins in our minds and hearts that we have forgotten or that we have put aside. Help us to know that we must have godly repentance, not a repentance of the world where we're sorry because we were caught, but Godly repentance where we understand that we have broken your heart by sinning. Please forgive us. Help us to spend time with you. Help us to find comfort and joy and peace no matter what is going on in our lives and around our lives. Help us to know that nothing can come to us, nothing, no trial, no temptation, nothing can come to us without your approval, without your permission. So help us to accept whatever comes our way and help us to lean on you to take us through, paying attention and listening out for the lesson that you have for us, because you simply desire for us to grow stronger and stronger in your love and in your truth so that we will be ready for Jesus' soon return. Your will be done in our lives, dear Lord, we pray. We do ask again for forgiveness. Thank you for your love and your peace. 
This is our prayer in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.